Hello, everybody, and welcome to What's in Your Dish Tray Quarantine Edition. I'm your host, Gary, and to address the elephant in the room, yes, this is the first episode of What's in Your Dish Tray without Alex ever. Uh, is Alex coming back, and is he going to still be a part of, of the show? Yes. Absolutely. Alex and I are both producers of this show, and he will be back. He's just taking care of some uh, personal life stuff right now, and he'll be back probably in the next episode, if this one even airs. The game I actually want to talk about today is uh, it's a really cool one. I enjoy it a lot. It's called Generation Zero. So, um, Generation Zero takes place in 1980s Sweden. You're the last person on an island in Sweden. It's very difficult to follow the story in this game um, because it's very similar to like pre big crazy update of Fallout 76 where all of the uh, exposition and story was through tapes and audio recordings and things like that. Um, And that's that's kind of how Generation Zero plays out its story to be honest with you. I don't. I just know you're on an island in Sweden that has been overrun with robots. And if it wasn't for the fact that there were robots, this game would be fucking terrifying. Uh, Very similar to like the forest, except there's you don't have to like cut down trees or anything like that. You just survive. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of surviving. You could even play the game completely stealth, kind of. That's where the, the, the real meat and potatoes come in this game because you really depending on what type of enemies you have you really have to decide how you want to engage you got to pick your battles you can't go in guns blazing even though that will work 70 percent of the time if you're looking at the game footage right now i am just blazing through enemies i just so happen to have what i'm assuming is a legendary shotgun there's like some crowns here at the top. I don't remember how many crowns. Because I'm not looking at the game footage right now. Now, there's bunkers and houses and uh, tunnels that you can explore and you'll find more weapons and more enemies and more items and more exposition and more story. It's just really, really fun to explore, but also very unsettling because it feels like you are being watched constantly you will be in combat and have no idea who it is or where it's coming from i think the game be lying i will be in my map and it's like you're in combat you can't fast travel and nothing's there why you do this to me i digress just like any other multiplayer survival game it's a lot more fun with friends you can totally play it solo there is a story it's very difficult to follow but it's there I would definitely highly recommend checking this game out. Right now, I have I have 13 hours in into the game, which seems like a lot. It seems like way more than I've actually played the game, but I'm not sure. Uh, but check it out. Check it out on Steam. Generation Zero. That was just a super quick what to you diss tray, just to bring in the new year and the apocalypse that is upon us. I'm trying to break out of the habit of being like, stay tuned, big things coming. But we have some 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 stuff on the on the horizon. Just just know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I know it's been like three years since we've posted something. Actually, it's been two, but there's been a lot of personal crazy life stuff. Other than, apart from everything that's happened in the world, there's actually real life stuff going on in our lives too that we're coming out of and. Oh boy, it's been rough. Boom. We missed you guys. We know you missed us. We're back. So go ahead and play some video games, you nerds.